AFTV on nil nil. You don't hear that often with our sort of clean sheet, but it was today. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought it weren't the best of games, but but when I saw the starting lineup, I was pleased because it was giving youngsters a chance. It was giving new people a chance. We haven't seen much this season, so I was quite sort of excited. But you worried that it might be a bit of a risk because you know you come into it Everton. You know, look, he's, he's, a lot of teams have come a cropper look, look, in the look, past couple of weeks. Look, we've played many away games and lost this season with other players in the team. So it's not really a risk when the players that have been playing instead of them haven't been doing that well. Mm. So you're putting somebody else in. So, yeah, so no, so I, I didn't think it was that much of a risk because I thought they played well. I thought Saka played well. Mm. I thought Saka played well, especially after getting booked, was it? Or mm. he was cautioned early on. So I was a bit worried he might have got sent off. Mm. But we did well. We did well there, and I thought. And I thought at the back we was quite good at, at the back. The only thing, the only thing which I didn't like about the game was the fans today because I thought it was a toxic atmosphere towards towards, towards all the fans, towards yourself, towards certain people saying certain things, which I think was out of order. Mm. Saying certain things, coming to you coming to you saying things, saying, saying charge. And I, I know it's only a small, I know it's only a small people, but yeah. about 20 or 30, as you were saying, but when you've watched Arsenal the last few years, and when you've driven up to Swansea, who went down that year, and you, you spent five hours going up to Swansea, and, and you lose one nil, and they go down that year, mm. do you really expect Arsenal fans, when you do an interview, to, mm. to, to come out and say, we played well? Do you do they really expect that? Because 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 what I want to know is these people who want who don't like we don't like this this channel. What I want to know from them is when we lose or play badly, do you want us to lie? We're only <laughs> don't want us to lie today. We're only yeah. saying we're only saying what we've seen and and when listen, I can you continue to give your honest opinion. Let me let me just ask you this right. Yeah. Um, Arteta, he's in now. How do you feel? Are you happy about that? Do you think um, no, I'm certainly not happy about that? The coach this lot got, I think it should be a swap. We should have their Ancelotti. Coach. Yeah, we should have Ancelotti because it, 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 everyone was at this club a lot longer than, than he, he was at Arsenal. No, yeah. I think Ancelotti is a manager who, who, should be, who should be competing at a top level and should be coming to Arsenal. Not, but don't not you think, that, you know, you, Ancelotti is like that easy or an easier thing to do? Not, not that it's not easy that you can. Yeah. You know, they've done well to tempt him to come to Everton, but well trying something, you know, also, him, yeah. Arsenal are trying something new with Arteta and, you know, they're, they're looking at it and they're looking at a more of a long-term vision. Don't you think in that way it's a good thing? Yeah, yeah. And hopefully the fans get behind him and all this and all this energy I've seen towards, towards certain people t t today, mm. they pull it towards the board because I want people to back Mikel Arteta, because I want to see what he's learned from Pep Guardiola. Also, I want to see what he's learned because he's been there. He's been there for three years. He's been helping him out. It's not only Pep Guardiola he's been learning from. He's had he, he's had Brian Kidd there, mm. who's an experienced bloke, and he's had other he's had other people there. So I want, I, want, I want to see what he's learned. But even though he's not our first choice, I want because if you, you did a survey, there's very few people that would would mm. pick him. But I want I want the Arsenal fans to get behind him. And get behind, get behind the team now, and, and let's have a big, let's have a big push towards the end of the season because because there's players there that are playing for their uh, and future, and it shows though because I thought Chambers, apart from that tackle <coughs> right at the end, I thought Chambers was outstanding. I thought David Louise put in that extra ten percent. I thought mm. when I thought and even even the player which I don't particularly like was when it's Zaka. I thought he played okay today. Mm. Even though, even though I don't want to see him in the starting line, but I thought he, I thought he was, he was outstanding today in, in midfield. But what I want the fans is I want the fans to get behind a, a Mikel Arteta, and let's not get in his back, even if it's a year or two, because yeah, because it's not him, it's the board. Thank you very much.